North Korean generals glitter with medals, a dazzling sight that puzzles many since the country has been peaceful for over 60 years. These decorations are symbols of honor, reaching beyond the battlefield to recognize work in fields, factories, and schools. The tradition, rooted in deep history and influenced by old alliances, celebrates loyalty and service in every aspect of life. Every medal tells a story of dedication, whether in military uniform or civilian clothes. Join us as we explore the intriguing world behind North Korea's sea of medals. How North Korea got its love for medals. Have you ever seen pictures of North Korean military leaders covered in so many medals that they look like walking display cases? It's really odd because North Korea hasn't been in any big wars for over 60 years. You might wonder what's going on. Why do they have all these medals? And where did they all come from? The reason isn't just about fighting in wars. It's also about how they show respect and honor in their country. This comes from their history and how their society works. We're going to explore why North Korea shows off so many medals and where this tradition started. We'll find out that it's a mix of old stories, culture, and some surprising facts. The story of how North Korea's military got so many decorations starts a long time ago, back when the Soviet Union had a big impact on North Korea. This was right after World War II and after Japan had controlled Korea for many years. During this tough time, a lot of Koreans went to the Soviet Union to find safety. One of these people was Kim Il-sung, who would later become the leader of North Korea. In the Soviet Union, Kim Il-sung got involved in the military and even led a group of soldiers. He saw that in the Soviet Union, they had a tradition of giving out medals and awards to soldiers and regular people who did great things. This tradition really influenced him. In the Soviet Union, giving medals was a way to say thank you or well done to people who did something special, whether they were in the army or just regular folks. Kim Il-sung liked this idea a lot. When he went back to Korea and started leading the country, he brought this tradition with him. He thought it was a good way to make people feel proud and to show everyone who the heroes were. That's why in North Korea, there are so many medals and awards. It's not just about fighting in wars, it's also about showing respect and honoring people who do things that are considered important in their society. This tradition has grown over the years, and now it's a big part of how North Korea shows what it values and honors its history. Kim Il-sung learned a lot when he was in the USSR, especially about giving out medals and awards. He saw how these medals weren't just thank you gifts, but also a way to make people want to do better and stay loyal. In the USSR, when someone got a medal, it showed they worked hard and were devoted to their country. Kim Il-sung really liked this idea. He thought it was a great way to make people feel important and connected to their country. This way of thinking helped him create North Korea's system for giving out awards. After the Korean War, North Korea wanted to show the world it was its own country with its own ways. One of the things they did was make their own medals and awards, kind of like the ones in the Soviet Union but they made sure these awards fit North Korea's special situation. They started giving medals for all sorts of things, not just fighting in wars. People could get medals for being good at their jobs, for teaching well, or for helping out in the community. This new system was about taking the idea from the Soviet Union and making it work for North Korea. Kim Il-sung and other leaders saw how giving out medals could bring people together. They thought that if people felt they were part of the country's story by getting awards, they would work harder and support the government more. Giving out these awards also helped Kim Il-sung keep his power. When people got medals, they were being told they were doing what the leader wanted. This made people want to show they were loyal to him and the country. As time went on, North Korea made more and more types of medals for different kinds of good deeds. There were medals for being brave in battle, but also for doing well in science, making things, and helping out in the arts. 
This showed that North Korea valued many ways of helping the country, not just fighting. In North Korea, it's hard to tell the difference between being a soldier and being a regular citizen when it comes to getting medals. This is because the government wants to show that everyone, no matter what they do, is important to the country. The idea is to make everyone feel like they're part of the army in some way. This isn't just about making sure the country is safe. It's also about making everyone feel they're working together for a bigger goal. But it's not only soldiers who get these medals. In North Korea, people from all parts of life can get them. This includes people who do really well in their jobs, like farmers or teachers, not just those in the military. This shows how North Korea mixes being brave in the military with being good at other jobs. Everyone's work is seen as part of the bigger effort to make the country better. The way North Korea sees things is very connected to the military. This isn't just about fighting or being ready to fight. It's about using the discipline and order from the military to bring everyone in the country together. The government uses this way of thinking to teach people to love their country and work hard for it. This is where the medals and awards come in. They're a way for the government to say thank you and well done to people who help reach the country's goals. Because of this focus on the military, getting a medal is like saying you're helping to build the country, whether you're a soldier or not. This has created a special culture in North Korea, where all kinds of good work are celebrated as part of serving the country. Next, we explore how North Korea's medals aren't just for soldiers, but also for everyday heroes and achievements. Every job counts in North Korea's medal game. In North Korea, getting a medal isn't just for being brave in war. People can also get medals for doing everyday things really well. This might seem strange, but it's all part of how the country works. For example, Someone could get a medal for being really good at fishing. This might not sound like a big deal, but fishing is very important in North Korea. It helps make sure there's enough food for everyone and supports the economy. So when someone gets a medal for fishing, it's like the country is saying, your hard work is helping all of us. This makes regular jobs feel just as important as being a hero in war. But it's not just fishing. People also get medals for helping to build things the country needs, like power stations or big dams. These projects are super important for keeping the lights on and the water running. And it's not just about building stuff. People who make farming better or grow more food can get medals too. All of this helps the country take care of itself and keep growing. When the government gives out these medals, it's like they're giving a big thank you to the people who did the work. It's also a way to tell everyone else, see what they did? You can do something important too. Giving medals for these kinds of jobs does a lot more than just make people feel good. It brings everyone closer together and makes them want to do their best for the country. It's a way to show that every job, big or small, is part of the big plan for North Korea. It doesn't matter if you're a soldier or a farmer or a builder, everyone's work is seen as a way to make the country better. This idea of giving medals for all kinds of different jobs mixes together military thinking with everyday life. In North Korea, the government wants people to feel like they're all part of one big team, working together for the same goals. By mixing military ideas with regular jobs, the government is trying to spread its way of thinking to every part of life. This means that no matter what your job is, you're seen as helping to protect and build the country. In North Korea, even everyday jobs like farming or mining are celebrated with medals. This might seem strange to us, but it's really important there. For instance, if someone does an outstanding job in coal mining or growing crops, they might get a medal. These jobs are vital for keeping the country running smoothly. They make sure everyone has enough to eat and that the lights stay on. By giving medals for these tasks, North Korea is saying that these jobs are just as important as being a soldier. This way, everyone's work is seen as helping the country, but it's not just about celebrating all kinds of work. This whole system of giving out lots of medals changes how people think and feel about their country. 
It's more than an old tradition. It's a key part of how North Korea works. Giving out medals like this makes people feel like they're part of a big team. It also makes North Korea different from other countries, especially when it comes to how they think about the military and other jobs. At the center of all these medals is a big plan to make people think a certain way. These medals aren't just thank you notes. They show that the government sees and values what people do. This is super important in a place where what the group wants is usually considered more important than what one person wants. When someone gets a medal, it makes them feel special and important. This helps make sure they keep working hard for the country. Also, having so many different medals helps bring everyone together. It's like a big ladder where you can see who's achieved what. This isn't just about making people feel good, it's about getting everyone to do their best. People see the medals and want to get their own, so they work harder and try to do really well at their jobs. But there's even more going on with these medals. They're also a way for the government to make sure everyone thinks the same way. Each medal is for doing something the government thinks is good. So every time someone gets a medal, it's like a little reminder of what the government wants. This way, the government can guide how people act and what they think is important. When you compare North Korea to other places, their way of giving out medals really stands out. In lots of countries, medals, especially military ones, are given out only for very brave acts or really special service. And they don't give out many of them, so getting one is a big deal. For example, in the United States and in Europe, there are clear rules about who gets what medal, and the very best ones are rare and a huge honor. But in North Korea, it's different. They give out medals for all sorts of things, not just for being brave in a battle. They celebrate work in the military, in schools, and in all sorts of jobs. This shows how in North Korea, the line between being a soldier and doing other kinds of work isn't very clear. Everyone is seen as part of the effort to make the country better, no matter what their job is. This way of doing things is really different from other places and shows just how much the country focuses on everyone working together. Moving on, let's look at how in North Korea, your family's past can affect your medals and your future. A family's honor can lift or doom. In North Korea, the way they give out medals is different from most other places. They don't just have separate awards for soldiers and civilians. Instead, they mix it all together. This shows that they think everyone, no matter what their job, helps the country grow. This way of doing things isn't just about saying, well done, to people. It's also about bringing everyone in the country together, aiming for one big goal, under the same set of beliefs. This shows a different way of thinking compared to many other countries. In North Korea, when someone does something great, it's seen as a win for everyone, not just them. This way, personal success isn't just about one person. It's seen as helping the whole country get stronger and better. Another special thing about North Korea's system is how medals and honors can be shared within families, from one generation to the next. This isn't very common in other places. In North Korea, this idea makes families feel more connected to the country's goals. It keeps the memory of serving the country alive in families, linking many generations together with the same ideals and loyalty to the nation. But there's more to it. North Korea has this unique and strict rule that can affect whole families based on what one person does. This is called the three generations rule. It's a big part of how they give out awards, but also how they punish people. This rule means that what one person does, good or bad, can impact their parents, their kids, and even their grandkids. This idea has old roots in Confucian beliefs, which stress the importance of family and working together. However, North Korea uses this idea in its own way. Originally, this rule was made to make sure everyone stays loyal to the leaders and the country's way of doing things. It's meant to stop people from disagreeing with the government or leaving the country by making their whole family responsible for what they do. The goal is to have families watch over each other so that everyone sticks to the rules and supports the state. 
By linking families like this, the government uses strong family feelings and the worry about getting everyone in trouble to keep control and make sure people follow what they're told. This mixes deep family ties with a fear of getting everyone you love into trouble, which helps keep things the way the government likes. The three generations rule in North Korea is like a double-edged sword, affecting people's lives in both good and bad ways. Let's look at this policy more closely and see how it really works in everyday life. On the bright side, this rule means that when someone does something great, like helping the country in a big way, it's not just them who gets noticed. Their whole family gets credit for it. This is a way of saying thank you to the whole family for doing their part for the country. Because of this, families with a history of doing good things for North Korea can get special treatment. They might live in nicer houses, go to better schools, or find it easier to get good jobs. This part of the rule is all about making families stick together and keep supporting the country, passing down their loyalty from one generation to the next. It's like the country is saying, we remember what your family has done for us and we'll make sure you all get something good back. But there's a darker side to this rule too. If someone breaks the law or goes against what the government wants, it's not just them who has to face the music. Their whole family does, including their parents, kids, and even grandkids. This could mean really tough punishments for everyone, like being sent away to work camps or worse. The idea here is to stop people from speaking out or doing things the government doesn't like by making them worry about what could happen to their families. This uses people's love for their families as a way to keep them in line. Because of this, in North Korea, what you do affects your whole family's future, not just your own. If you do something great, your family might be set for a long time. But if you make a mistake, your family could be in trouble for years to come. This makes everyone very careful about what they do and say, since no one wants to be the reason their family suffers. This deep connection between individual actions and family fate has a huge impact on how people act and think. Knowing that your choices can lift up or bring down your entire family makes everyone very focused on following the rules and showing loyalty to the country. It's a way to make sure that everyone is working together towards the same goals, but it also creates a lot of stress, knowing that one wrong move could hurt your loved ones for a long time. The three generations rule has also changed how North Korean society is structured. It's like there are invisible lines drawn around families, deciding who is trusted and who isn't based on what their ancestors did. Families known for being loyal to the government are treated well and often given awards and other honors, which keeps them loyal. On the other hand, if a family is labeled as untrustworthy or rebellious, they can be locked out of opportunities and face a lot of challenges. This has created a system where your family background plays a big role in what your life will be like almost like an unofficial class system based on loyalty and history with the state. Now let's see how things are changing with medals in North Korea under the new leader, Kim Jong-un. Young stars and tech get North Korea's top prizes. In today's North Korea, giving out medals for both soldierly and everyday good work keeps playing a big part in the country's culture and politics. Since Kim Jong-un became the leader, there have been some small changes in how these awards are given and what they mean. This shows us how North Korea is slowly changing in some ways, but also how it's staying the same in others. When we look at how medals are given out now, under Kim Jong-un, we can learn a lot about what's happening in North Korea. Giving out these medals is still a big deal. They're a way to say thank you to people who are really loyal, who do great things, or who work really hard for what the country believes in. These awards aren't just for soldiers anymore. People can get them for all kinds of things, like doing a great job at work, making discoveries in science, or helping out in their communities. This shows that the government thinks all kinds of help and success are important for making the country better. The way the military gets medals is still a big show. 
These events are used to tell everyone how strong and brave North Korea is. But it's not just about saying good job to the people getting the medals. It's also a way for the country to show off and tell a story about itself. A story where it's always the hero, always strong and unbeatable. When Kim Jong-un gives out these big awards, it's a way to make sure everyone knows that he's in charge. By being the one to give out the medals, he's showing that he's the top boss, the one who decides who gets honored and who doesn't. Since he took over, he's been really smart about using these medals and awards to send messages. He keeps doing things the old way, the way they've always been done. But there are little hints that he might be starting to use these awards in new ways to show new things. They help North Korea look tough to the rest of the world while also keeping things tight and controlled inside the country. This juggling act is tricky. North Korea has to look strong outside without messing up the feeling of unity and loyalty inside. It's a clever plan, using these awards to meet their goals both with other countries and with their own people. But it's not just about looking good. The awards in North Korea mean a lot more. They are not just pieces of metal. They carry the country's ideas and praise the history and leaders of North Korea. Every award tells a story about fighting, winning, and sticking to the country's beliefs. The look of these awards, from their colors to their shapes and what's written on them, is all carefully chosen. They all remind people about North Korea's ideas of doing things on their own, being strong in the military, and following the leader. These stories and ideas are woven into every award, making them very special in North Korea. For example, when North Korean medals show pictures of Kim Il-sung or Kim Jong-il, they are not just giving someone a pat on the back. These medals are like little history lessons, reminding everyone that these leaders are seen as forever heroes in North Korea. The country's story, with its fights against other countries, the big war in Korea, and its ongoing efforts to stand strong and grow, shines through in these awards given to its people. When someone gets a medal for being part of a famous battle or a big effort from the past, it's like they are getting a piece of history. These medals are not just for saying well done to one person. They tie all North Koreans together, reminding them of the tough times they've faced and how they've kept going. It's like these awards are saying, we are all in this together through thick and thin from the past to today. There are also medals for people who have worked really hard in their jobs, like farming, making things, or discovering new science stuff. These medals have pictures and designs that show important work like growing food, building things, or coming up with new ideas. They are a way of showing that North Korea wants to handle things on its own, growing its own food, and making its own stuff. By giving out these medals, the government is telling a story. Look how far we've come by working hard and being smart, all thanks to our great leaders. These medals tell everyone to remember the old days, to feel proud of surviving tough times, and to keep pushing forward. The way North Korean medals look is really important in showing what the country believes and values. These medals are more than just rewards. They are a way to show off big ideas like strength, togetherness, and how special the people who get them are in the country. When you see these medals all over a soldier's uniform, it's like a big billboard that says, look how strong our military is and how brave our soldiers are. It's not just about one person looking good. When a uniform is completely covered with medals, it's like a big shiny show that tells everyone, we did all these great things together. In North Korea, when someone has a lot of medals, it's a way of showing that all the good things that happen are because everyone works together and follows the country's rules and leaders. But it's not just about looking tough or important. The way these medals look, their size, color, and the pictures on them tells a story. They're like little pieces of art that say something about what's important in North Korea. They celebrate things like fighting well in a war, working hard at a job, or doing something great for the country. And when these medals are worn in big groups, they tell a story about working as a team where everyone helps out for the good of the country. 
Have we unraveled the full story behind North Korea's abundant metals? Or does a deeper, untold narrative lie beneath their shimmering surface? Share your thoughts below and dive into the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the world's most mysterious phenomena.